Here's her robe. Oh, you got this one. Thank God I cleaned them. I cleaned these. Yeah, Thanks for letting me borrow your robe. We're trying to stay warm. So we're all robed up and we're ready to go. Where are we going? <laughs> we're gonna sit down. Hey you guys. Hi fellas and girls. Okay, so I have a few questions I wanna ask you and I wanna document your answers so I have them forever. Can you do that for me? I hope so. What the hell do you wanna know? I have a list of questions. Okay. okay. He's gotta look at that, see? Okay, so when and where were you born? 1930 in Bridgeport Hospital. My brothers and my sister, they I didn't go to the hospital. I'm the only one that went. Ew. What were your parents like? They came from Europe, Czechoslovakia. So they would mostly talk to me in Slovak and I would answer in English. But as I got older, I learned some of the words. So that was good. What did you and your siblings do for fun? They didn't have TV until I was about 22. So I bought the TV and left it in their living room. What, what did you guys watch Or we would go to the shows. I don't remember, Kevin. What was your favorite part of school? Before you dropped out, of course. I liked mathematics. That was good. And the teacher was from my church. We had to come home for lunch and go back to school. We had to walk up the hill. And I don't know how long that took us. Did you have... We had to go in the rain, snow. Oh, dear God. Have you ever been arrested? I was arrested for speeding. Did you I get put in handcuffs? No, no. Oh. It was a trap. Nobody bailed me out. I got a letter. I owed this kind of money. Oh, so you just and got I a mailed ticket. it. That's okay. all. She just I got, got a ticket. ticket. She's not that hardcore. That she was didn't seven get years ago. Okay. Seven years. I said, what is this noise? Come How did back. you meet Grandpa John? He went to New Year's Eve with my girlfriend, and they had a couples going with him, and I had this other fellow. I'm not giving any names on there. I'm not. <laughs> and then you no swooped names. in, left no, your date, and stole I, him? No, no, I looked. So I thought, hey, that guy looks nice. Nice, well-dressed, good-looking, tall. After he stand up, he was nice and tall. And I met him, and then we kept going out, couples and couples, and we danced. I had to teach him how to dance. He didn't know how to dance. And then he put a ring on you? Then we picked the ring out. What was your house like as a child? They rented places. Then you moved. Then we bought the house. And when they bought the house, it was a big, long house. My grandmother lived with us, too, for a while. Then after so many months, she went to see her other daughter. What was your first job? I had a lot of little jobs. Like in, what? In Fairfield. It was all assembling. Maybe one was a photograph where you could put tapes on, not tapes, records, and play play music. You had to fix them, set them up. I like that. Oh. Assembling everything. Then after that, they got slow on. They would lay me off. Then they would lay me off at another place. Who was your first crush? I didn't have any first crush. I liked them all. We used to dance all the time, go dancing. And they were just friends. That's all they were. Okay, last question. I've been dying to know this along with all the people that watch us. What is your bra size? It's none of your business what the bra is. Now, now that's going personal. You don't talk about bras and undies and pants. and I don't, I don't go for that. Can I don't go for that. Can you give us an answer? No, I don't have to see no answer. So everybody in the whole wide world knows what your size is. It's nobody's business. I don't ask anybody what your size. I don't ask nobody. I never ask nobody in my life. And I'm 87. Thanks for answering my questions. Okay, thank I you. I just learned a lot. And we'll see you guys next time. Next time. Subscribe. <laughs>